And good afternoon, everyone. This is Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, and this is the Friday afternoon QSO Vlog Network. If you have a radio you want to check out, give us a shout. We're recording now in live to five, and then we'll post it up on YouTube, so you can come by later and do a call letter search for KC9VKV, and that will take you to our QSO Vlog page. We're currently featuring about 800 or so QSO VLOG air checks at this time. Also, this afternoon, we're running four Internet SDR receivers, monitoring Rochester, New York, Atlanta, Georgia, Arlington, Virginia, and Milford, Pennsylvania, trying to get a better copy on our 100-watt friends. Now, the audio from these four SDR receivers comes up on a six-position rotary selector. Also on this selector is our local receiver audio. And today, our local receiver is running two large 10-foot vertical magnetic loop antennas, one aimed north and south, the other east and west. The north and south mag loop can be rotated. They are selected by a three-position rotary selector. Position three on this selector is a co-phase option that many times is 3 to 4 dB hotter than mag loop one or two by themselves. We do use a lot of rotary selectors in our shack, mainly because there's nothing faster than a rotary switch for comparing multiple signals. Well, those are our working conditions. How about yours? This is the Friday afternoon QSO Vlog Network, and now let's uh, check in and see if Charlie K1GZL is on the frequency to bring us up to date on the latest 40 meter band propagation. Charlie's QTH is up in the northern New Hampshire area near the Canadian border. Charlie, you got a copy? Yes, uh, Jim, I certainly do. You're 20 over 9, 20 over 9, and you're coming in direct, as I don't have a computer or an SDR uh, situation. But beautiful copy, Jim. Go ahead. Roger, Charlie. Well, I'm copying you about 15 over on my uh, twin mag uh, loop uh, antennas, uh, so we have a good uh, propagation today, Roger. Roger, Roger, and I'll just show you how well your propagation is here. Here it is. Selector is a cosine option that many times is 3 to 4 dB hotter than mag loop 1 or 2 by themselves. Okay, and just give you an idea, you're just coming in beautifully. One thing I would like to try, Jim, and have that um, I don't think anyone else has tried that I know of. Now, back in 1951, 1951, I was uh, operator at W1AW down, of course, the ARRL uh, headquarters station, uh, and that's, uh, of course, uh, in Newington, Connecticut, just southwest of Hartford. Uh, however, in those days, everything in their mind was CW. Everything was a CW. And, uh, in fact, 40-meter... Uh, there was no 40-meter phone. It was CW. So uh, they were telling me all the time when I was there uh, during uh, most of the summer of 1951 uh, that uh, CW certainly uh, has a lot more uh, uh, output, uh, voice, uh, I mean, uh, much more output than voice. Uh, than voice. Now, I want to try something. I want to try something. If you'll watch your S meter very carefully, I want to try to see if uh, a voice CW can be better uh, than uh, uh, just regular voice. Now, let us assume uh, that we didn't have a key or we did not have a bug and we were going to use strictly voice CW. Now, what I'm going to do <coughs> is send your call KC9, VKV, VE, like Denmark Echo, and then my call, K1GZL, then the letter K. And I'm going to do it by voice. So watch your meter and you see if, uh, you see, uh, if the CW by voice is better than, uh, than by uh, phone. Okay, here we go. How was that, Jim? KC9 VKV, K1Gs it up. Well, Charlie, you know, I'm running a reduced RF uh, front end to uh, keep the receiver out of AGC, but I am monitoring the audio.
on a VU meter. And uh, of course, <laughs> your dits and dahs were at the exact same level as your zero level on your voice. Uh, unfortunately, though, I, I can't give you a, a, really a, an accurate uh, S meter reading or even a reference uh, to uh, S meter because of the uh, reduced signal strength. Roger. Okay, well, it was, just, <laughs> it was just a trial, just a trial to see, uh, 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 well, you might uh, find out if you think it sounded louder uh, than, uh, than the regular uh, voice piece. By the way, yes, getting back to meteorology as to weather, uh, yesterday and uh, last night, uh, up till early morning, we picked up five inches new of snow. Today, we are missing a small uh, Alberta clipper of snow, uh, which is passing south of us. The sun was breaking through the clouds uh, about quarter after three, uh, but I don't see the sun at the uh, moment. However, there's a cold front coming through, and that's going to uh, uh, it itself probably produce another uh, inch or so. Uh, but then again, Monday and Tuesday, and I'm expecting rain, occasional rain, and a lot of melting will take place. Uh, well, temperatures skyrocketing way up to about 40 degrees or low 40s, and then on Wednesday the bottom drops out again. So, uh, there we are, and uh, you're uh, coming in like uh, you're sitting right next to me, KC9VKV, K1GZL. Roger, Roger, Charlie. Well, you're still giving me about a uh, 15 uh, dB over my noise level. So, uh, you know, I have found that uh, that equates somewhat near uh, S-meter reading, you know, 15 over um, my uh, residual noise level. Uh, because uh, when you cease speaking, I have your voice uh, uh, calibrated for zero level on my VU meter. And when you cease speaking, my meter drops down and is reading the uh, uh, ambient noise level, which is uh, about 15 dB below uh, zero level for your voice. So, uh, you know, we really have excellent uh, conditions today. I'm glad to see that you finally got rid of all your uh, icing situation, Roger. Yeah, we got rid of the ice. Uh, uh, that was pretty, uh, <laughs> that was a bad situation. There's still just a trace of it um, on some of the antennas, but <clears throat> it, uh, it was so bad uh, a number of days ago that 95% of my power was rejected, and I was 85% of my power, nothing, practically nothing, nothing down into uh, Australia there, um, uh, Jim. So uh, uh, that was nasty, I'll tell you, that was nasty. And uh, right now the trees are still full of snow, though, uh, full of snow. It's a picture postcard. Just like you'd see in a Norman, Norman Rockwell uh, painting of what uh, Christmas and winter should be, uh, Jim, go ahead. Roger, Roger, Charlie. Well, just uh, as you were speaking, I went through my uh, four SDRs, Rochester, New York, Atlanta, Georgia, Arlington, Virginia, and Milford, VA, and my own uh, local uh, <laughs> co-phased 10-foot uh, uh, vertical loops were the hottest uh, by at least uh, 5 dB over those other SDRs. So that's, uh, that's encouraging, Roger, Roger. Oh, yeah, you did a great job. You did a great job on your... Uh uh, your, uh, your 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 loops there, uh, your phase loops. That uh, that is a wonderful thing, uh, Jim. You've got there. Uh, of course, uh, we are into our shortest days now, and our sunset oh. up here Eastern Time is about oh. four o. Frequencies in use, please. We are right at the actual earliest it's going to set, four o two in the afternoon up here in northern New Hampshire. Okay, Jim, I won't hold it any longer. I hope to catch you on next week. And I want to thank you very, very much uh, for letting me run that uh, voice CW test. Uh, I just thought of that the other day, and uh, I just wondered uh, if that would, uh, would work. Uh, so I'll turn it back to you, and uh, we'll try to uh, catch you next week. KC9VKV, K1GZNNL. WA30QRP. 
Stand by, please. Uh, Charlie, uh, right, you know, but a better test would have been uh, if you had shifted 1kC off frequency and uh, then uh, keyed your, um, y you know, in CW mode, uh, keyed your uh, radio, and then we would have a, a 1kC uh, operating uh, frequency uh, heterodyne, Roger. Uh, well, uh, yeah, I'll tell you what. Uh, I'll go down to 88, and I'll, you want me to do it again? I'll go down to uh, 87 for Roger. Uh, Roger, would that, uh, w yeah, I guess that would be 1KC down. Uh, go ahead and uh, just uh, give me a, a CW uh, for about uh, a second or two seconds uh, real quick. Or go ahead and send them, let's see, let's verify that uh, we've got a hook up there. Go down and uh, do that for about a couple of seconds and uh, let me see if I get a 1KC uh, heterodyne. Okay, here we go. Let me get down there. Uh, Roger, Roger. I was I was thinking of actual um, keying of the uh, of the radio in the CW mode, and that would be uh, you know um, probably a louder uh, heterodyne than just a uh, a sideband modulated signal because that would be uh, uh, that wouldn't uh, be a sideband CW would be uh, you know all the way across so it wouldn't be restricted to uh, half the band pass, Roger. Okay, well, the problem is I don't have a key. Uh, I haven't operated CW in years. Oh, Roger, I was just thinking of tapping on the, on the, on the mic key, uh, you know, uh, just as a test. It, yeah, you know, it wouldn't be the best fist in the world, but it would be a, a somewhat interesting test. Well, it, uh, it, it was interesting. It seems to be hitting uh, my rig a little better. Uh, but then again, uh, then again, uh, this is just uh, an experiment, and uh, like I've tried a lot of experimental antennas, and they were they were flops. No, oh, they were horrible. Uh, and other, I've had other ones up there I thought were a piece of junk and uh, worked better. So uh, it's cut and try, and that's part of the, the hobby. Uh, sometimes you gain a lot of things just by uh, experimentation. Well, Jim, thank you so much. There goes my voice. Thank you so much, and I'm going to try to catch you some, uh, next uh, Friday next Friday at the usual time. KC9VKV, K1GZL. This was great today. Roger, Roger, Charlie, three is that way, sir, and uh, thanks for dropping by and uh, getting us uh, going on our QSO Vlog network. Uh, always a pleasure. Charlie's up there by the Canadian border, I think about three or four miles uh, from A, and uh, he uh, can uh, judge real well about what's happening with the band, uh, and uh, so he keeps us informed. Uh, well, anyway, this is the uh, Friday afternoon Kiss of Vlog Network uh, in full force. If you have a radio that you want to check out, uh, give us a shot. This is KC9 VKV listening.